Good morning, my friends. Uh, I am in the car and I am on my way to pick up my mom. She lives about two hours away from me. I've got to go get her and take her to a hair appointment. She hasn't had her hair done in so long, um, so I needed to go do that for her. I've got my coffee, my lunchbox, I've got my book that I picked up a couple weeks ago and still haven't started, so I figured um, now's the perfect time. I'll just probably read that while I'm waiting on her because her hair takes a few hours to do. Um, and then I'll just take you along with me, whatever we do. All right, let's hit the road. All right, I have made it to my mom's town and picked her up. And then, so like after I drive the like hour and a half to two hours to her house to pick her up, her salon is like 45 minutes away from her house. So then that's why it's a long trip for me. So I've picked her up. We're at the salon. She is in there right now getting her color all mixed up. I'm coming out here to get in my lunchbox and have a little snack break. It's like, I think I left my house at 10 and it is now 1.15. It's a lot of driving for me on days like this. Um, so I make sure to pack a little lunchbox full of snacks. I asked my mom if she wanted to be in this video at all to say hi and she's thinking about it. Maybe She said maybe after she gets her hair done. Um, so I wanted to put a little disclaimer here for anyone watching before she may or may not come on. Um, she does have aphasia and apraxia as a result of a stroke that she had in August of 2020. I believe it was August. It was either August or September. So when she speaks, her it, aphasia, I think, affects everyone differently or to a different degree. Um, but for her, so she says a lot of words. Um, I know some people struggle with getting words out, period, or they can say the words that they mean. They just come out slowly. Um, but for my mom, the thing she struggles with the most is getting the correct words out. So for example, um, if she's trying to talk to me about, um, I don't know, like my husband or something, if she's trying to say something or ask how he's doing, she'll say, how's your brother? Things like that, um, where her words get mixed up. And there's a lot of words that are repetitive for her. And so she knows in her head what she means to say, but there's a disconnect between her brain and her mouth. So the wrong words come out. Um, it has been like two years now since her stroke coming up. She's, she's getting better or either we're getting better at deciphering or she's getting better at um, just speaking and both could be true. But anyway, I just, I just wanted to have that little disclaimer in case she does decide to say hello. Um, that way no one is confused by what's going on when, when she's talking. Um, you may have heard of aphasia by now. I know that um, Bruce Willis was recently diagnosed. I, I wouldn't have known before my mom what that was. And that's really hard and makes me feel really bad for her because... And I mean, everyone with any disability they're struggling with, um, but hers specifically, what's so crazy about it is it's like physically, you, you can't tell that there would be anything wrong with her. Um, so then if, if you didn't know about the condition and you just ran into her in public and she's trying to be polite and say something to you, but she doesn't make any sense to you, you might think, you know, like, don't talk to me, you know. And so um, maybe this can be your reminder to just be kind to people because you never know what someone is going through and dealing with. Okay, I did not mean to get into all of that right now. But anyway, um, I'm going to have a snack and maybe I'll see you in a minute with her. Maybe not. We'll see how she feels. I figure, I guess while I'm in here, um, maybe I'll share with you what I packed for my snacks. It's like a little grocery haul, but it's a little lunchbox haul. Um, I brought two of these Starbucks espresso cans. They're like cold coffee in a little can. 
Um, me and my husband always buy these when we go on trips, have like in the car or in backpacks and stuff. They really come in handy. So on days like today, when I know I'm going to be on the go all day long, um, I like to have one of these. And I brought two just in case, you know, just in case I need a little drive home pick me up. Let's see. I just have my big bottle of water. Um, I saw these at the store last night and I hadn't seen them before. It is Cheetos Popcorn Cheddar Jalapeno. I thought my mom might wanna try these because years ago when I still lived at home, she liked jalapeno Cheetos. So I grabbed these for us to try together. Maybe, maybe we'll do a little taste test for you. I'll see how she feels about that. I brought a little just uncrustable PB&J. I got two Archer Farms or Country Archer. I don't know what it's called. These grass-fed beef sticks that I get from Costco. And of course, one of my Sargento Balanced Breaks. That's it. That's my little snacks for the day. And had to stop by McDonald's and get a sweet tea for the road. I think I'll be plenty caffeinated. We did it. No, I did it. You <laughs> did it. I've seen it. Did it. I Got your hair it. done. It's, I did it. Look at that. It looks good. There we go. Now that's better. Now we can see we took the visors down. We got our hair done for the first time in months and it looks way better. Didn't want to show you the before because it was too bad. And now she's going to show off because she's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. We're gonna do a little taste test of the Cheetos cheddar jalapeno popcorn. Remember you used to like the Cheetos jalapeno flavor. I don't believe it, but we'll see. <laughs> okay. And popcorn is definitely be different. Oh, it's orange. <laughs> orange with some spices on it. Make a little, Smells good. Make a little one just because I don't do it. Mmm. All right, so that's, that's good. It is good. Not bad. I like it. Okay, you can have it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you want another one? Bye. <laughs> no, I'm good. Thanks. I'm good? We like it. It's good. But I don't like it, but I'm good. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna choke. You're hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, bye. What's it doing now? <laughs> <laughs> Are you still right here? I got fucking an arm. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, so I just.
dropped my mom back off at her house and visited for a little bit and now I am going to head back home. Um, I was wanting to stop by Kohl's that is in a city just outside of mine on the way back home um, because it's just a little better than the one I have by my house. I don't know if I'm still going to do that because it's already six o'clock and I haven't even gotten on the interstate yet and if I just went straight home, it's gonna take me like an hour and 30 minutes without stopping anywhere. So I don't know um, if I'm gonna do that or not. If I do, I'll take you in there with me for a little bit, maybe. But anyway, I also still have to go home and pick up groceries and film a grocery haul to post tomorrow, my time. Um, by the time you see this, that will have already been posted. So, still have quite a day ahead of me, and it is 6 p.m. Uh, I am at the gas station right now. I'm going to fill up before I make the trip home. Uh, so, I haven't decided what I'm going to do next, but whatever it is, I'll take you with me. I am so glad that I packed this second coffee. Morning me knew what evening me needed. This is going to be a lifesaver for this trip home. Okay, so I did end up stopping here at Kohl's, if you can see it. I don't know, can you see it? You can kind of see it, okay. Um, so I did end up stopping here at Kohl's. Probably not the best call, but um, traffic went a lot smoother than I expected. I guess um, I left late enough to not have to suffer through five o'clock traffic. So I'm gonna go in here, see if they have anything that I wanna pick up for a try-on haul that I'm gonna do next week. I think by the time you see this video, I will have put up a Walmart try-on haul. I have stuff from Walmart and Kohl's right now, um, but I wanna get a few more things from Kohl's. And like I said, this one is just better than the one in my town. So I'm gonna go run in here real quick, see what they've got, show it to you if it's if there's anything worth showing. Go home and I don't, I'm probably not gonna cook dinner. By the time I get home, it's gonna be like 7.30. So my husband's probably already done something for the kids to eat. But let's go in here, see what they got, and then, I don't know, we'll see. So I'm not sure if this will still be the case by the time I post this, but all Levi's are on sale right now. These 501 shorts are only $29.99. Levi's are my favorite brand of jeans, the only kind I will buy now. And this is definitely a better deal than anywhere else. Well, except for Prime Day coming up, I guess. There's gonna be some stuff on sale. I actually grabbed these white shorts from Target because they were on sale for $39.99 and that was already a good deal itself. But then I saw them at Kohl's for $10 cheaper. So I returned them to Target and came here and got these. I don't think I'm gonna pick these up this time, but I am really loving this Draper James brand. So this maxi dress with a little smocked back here and the square neckline with the bow tie strap detail is so pretty and then they also have it in this pattern i am gonna pick up these two nine west dresses so here's a little sneak peek for the coles try on i'm over here in the jewelry and they have all this super cute lauren conrad stuff looks really reminiscent of the like sugar fix bobble bar stuff at target my camera doesn't pick up stuff very well when i don't have good lighting but i promise these are so cute okay i am very glad that i went in there i only got two things for my try on and because i was scared to spend more money even though i typically return things after try-ons well unless like i really love it you know and then i'll keep it um but it, that's just not realistic to keep everything i buy every week that's just I, I do not have that kind of money um so anyway i typically return the clothes after i buy them and i haven't returned all the stuff i've bought from kohl's yet because i haven't recorded the try-on and i got up to the register to buy these two dresses and she was like oh you have 64 dollars in kohl's cash I'm like oh that's scary <laughs> that means i spent a lot of money at kohl's lately um but like i said i'll return most of it because even if i love it i just can't afford to keep it all you know that's ridiculous I'm excited for that try and haul. It's gonna be a good one, so stay tuned. All right, now I'm gonna head home. I should be home in like 30 minutes. 
and then I have to go do my grocery haul and all of that. And then I don't know what. We'll see. See you in a minute. It's a few days later now. Yes. <laughs> um, I started recording this when I went to go see Grandma the other day. Yeah. Yeah. So now I've been home a few days. Um, I just wanted to go to bed when I got home. It is pretty late. It's 4.30, but we're just starting dinner, right? Yeah. And you're going to help me? Yeah. What are we going to make? Do you know? No, I don't know. You didn't tell me. <laughs> no. You didn't. She's going to she's going to cook it, but she doesn't know what it is. It's going to be a crockpot buffalo chicken. Buffalo chicken. Buffalo chicken. It's going to take probably like 3 hours. My chicken's frozen. <sighs> oh yeah, we had a late lunch, so it's okay. This is going to be done probably at like 7 7:30. So I'm going to turn this around and let Ava show you all of the ingredients and how to cook it. So I already put the frozen chicken in the crock pot. I have about six frozen tenderloins in there. So since they're small tenderloins, that's also going to help it cook faster. And I'm going to cook it on high for probably three hours. And first, you're going to take about a third cup of dry ranch seasoning mix and just pour it all over the chicken. So Ava is going to do that for me. Very, very nice. And then about two cups of buffalo sauce all over that. Mm -hmm. So can you pour this even? Yep. Do I pour it all in? All of it, all oh over. God. Okay. So there, there you go. There. Perfect, you did great. Don't lick it though, it's spicy. I don't know if you're gonna like it. Me too. Okay, and then I'm just gonna turn this on high, let it cook for about three hours, and then we'll shred it and it'll be good to go. Okay, now that we have that crock pot dinner on, I am actually getting ready to film a try on haul that I'm gonna be posting tomorrow my time. It'll already be up your time if it's a Walmart try on haul. And so I'm gonna put some makeup on. I already put on this primer, it's the Tula filter primer. Um, it has like some tint to it. So this is typically what I do on like a day-to-day -day basis just by itself. So I already applied this and then I like to use this Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. Um, I have a fake tan on right now. So I am using 20 in light neutral. A little dab like that. Dot it all around my face. This is pretty light natural coverage, which is what I like to go for. Um, even though this is more like a full face for me, I don't typically wear this much makeup on a daily basis. But when I'm doing a video, this is what I do every single time. And then I just go in with my damp sponge that is dirty. Don't judge me. And blend it in. seen now I'm a little bit more even toned if you can tell I don't know this lighting looks pretty bad it's the end of the day so I'm not getting a lot of natural sunlight in here and I'm just gonna use some of this wet and wild incognito concealer I'm, I don't really have an opinion on this one way or the other it's just what I have so it's what I'm using like I said I'm not a very big makeup person I'm just gonna put that under my eyes and then let it sit for a couple minutes. Um, I heard if you let your concealer dry down for a little bit before blending it, then you get better coverage. I don't know if that really works, but it's become what I do. So then while that is drying, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'm just using this Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Micro Brow Pencil. I think I have this, yeah, in deep brown. And just lightly fill them in. I really like um, people who can do the crazy full faces of makeup that is like super dra super dramatic to me. It's probably not super dramatic to them. I just always feel like the more makeup I put on, the worse I look. So I try to keep it pretty minimal. And then I know even what I'm doing right now is probably too much for some people. It definitely, a couple years ago, would have been too much for me then. All I did was... Um, eyebrow pencil and mascara. That's all I, I would ever do in chapstick. All right, those eyebrows looking a little, uh, a little scary. It's, it's bigger than this one. So I always like accidentally go a little bit more ham on this one, but it's okay because my try on videos are from far away. So honestly, it's probably better to go like too harsh than not harsh enough. All right. I'll blend this out. I don't know why I'm treating this part. Like it's, like it's some kind of makeup tutorial. Cause as I've said, 
I'm not really a makeup person. Just wanted to spend a little more time with you, I guess. I don't know if you can hear my family there in the living room. My husband has been trying to teach the kids, you know, how to toss and catch a ball. Basic stuff. Well, my kids are like the most non-athletic kids you'll ever meet. Um, and same, I'm not an athletic person. My husband was growing up. He was really into all kinds of different sports. Um, I did like cheerleading in middle school, but that's it. Got my under eyes all nice and ghosty, it looks like. Um, now I'm just gonna set my brows with this Essence Make Me Brow. It's got filling fibers in it. Um, it's fine. It's just, it was cheap, so I grabbed it. Now see, for some stuff, I will splurge and get higher end things like the Tarte um, foundation or tinted hydrator. And this Tula filter primer, I actually waited and got during like an Ulta 21 days of beauty. So it was on sale. So even whenever I do get higher end, more expensive things like this, I wait for them to go on sale. Okay, looking very dark on this camera, my goodness. They'll lighten up, maybe, somehow. I'll run a spoolie through them again. Oh yeah, okay, and then I just grabbed this little fluffy uh, tapered blending brush. I probably got this in an Ipsy bag like years ago. I've stopped Ipsy, but um, I just use this. It's fluffy, and then this Wet n Wild little tiny palette. I just only ever use this. Jeez, they're having fun in there. I only ever use this light brown shade in it. That's literally the only thing I ever put on my eyes. I think they're playing hot potato. I hear him playing music on his phone and they're screaming like whoever has it when the music stops is out. It's funny, my kids are so non-athletic, but at the same time, very competitive. And I just have this Milani bronzer, sun-kissed silky matte, I don't know. I got this years ago because um, I think it was Jessica Braun probably, I don't know, some makeup person that I like, I like to watch um, makeup people on YouTube, but I'm not as into it as they are. Honestly, it just becomes like you enjoy them as a person. And that was the case with her. So anyway, I think she like recommended this once and I bought it and it's just what I've been using ever since. And I haven't even hardly put a dent in it. For blush, I'm using this Benefit Dandelion blush. It's a mini, so it was cheaper than what it usually is. I think I just saw this like in the little um, carousel things they have in the checkout lane at Ulta, and I had heard people talk about it. And it was a pretty light little color, so I picked it up, and it is what I use most of the time whenever I want a light colored blush. So it still shows up good, but it's not like so overbearing and then after that all I do is mascara and lip gloss one second I gotta go find my mascara found it it was in my purse um, and this is another Tarte product it's just the Tarte Maneater mascara um, I'm sure there are things better than this um, it's just what I have bought it tried it out I like it I like what it does to my lashes um, but it does transfer after a little while I don't know if you can tell the size with it and without it. Probably can't tell too much on the camera, but it's all right. This is also a pretty um, dried up bottle. I should probably buy some new mascara. All right, here we go. Makeup is done. I'll wait to put on the lip gloss until I'm dressed and getting ready to go out and film a try on. Um, but the one that I usually use on a daily basis is this Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in hibiscus maybe i'll put it on right now just to have a look i like the little clicky button it's fun see it's kind of red kind of like a a natural red now i'm done love it all right now i have to make sure that my hair is straight everywhere i might run a flat iron through some parts put a little oil in it to tame this frizz, I blow dried it straight for the first time in probably years, honestly. And I just had it lightened last weekend, so it is pretty dry. So it needs some love and some oil.
I wanted to mention while this is right here on my nightstand, I did get to start this when I took my mom to get her hair done. Um, I know one of you commented last time and told me that it was really good and you read it in your book club. I only got through the first chapter, which isn't saying much because it was a really short chapter. I love it already so far, so I'm really excited to finish this. I saw on Walmart the other day, I was looking at the books and there was another one by the same author, so I'm like already wanting to pick that up, but I'm going to wait get through this first and then maybe that'll be next on my list if you have a summer reading list let me know what's on there i'll check it out i'm gonna go do my hair real quick film my try on and then this one's gonna have a little ice cream snack and then next time i see you she and i will be shredding up that buffalo chicken right yeah yeah see you in a minute <laughs> ready to shred it you know how to shred chicken no so you just um, put the forks in there, stab them into the chicken, and then pull them apart. Oh, okay. Careful. I can't shred it. Okay, oh, let me do it. Yeah. Your butt is in my face, and I can see your moody cheeks. They're right here. Yes. <laughs> 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 Pickling my butt. <laughs> stir the chicken. Okay. I'll stir it. Stir the chicken. This is my first time stirring. You gonna Pick show the camera a piece of chicken? Yeah, maybe. Show it. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh okay. no. Oops. Now that we've shredded it, I want to mm. let it sit for a few minutes and just soak in that juice real good. You know? Yeah. Now that this has been all shredded up and left in the sauce for a few more minutes to really just soak it in, I'm going to butter up some of these slider buns, toast them, and put this chicken on there. Toast it up our buns, squirt some ranch on there. Okay, too much. There we go. Easiest dinner in the world. Bye, guys. We're done. Yeah, we're done. We're so done. Yeah, we're so done with you guys. <laughs> no, no, we're done with the day. We're so done with the day. Thanks for being here, right? And, well, yeah, right, but my mom doesn't get paid enough for this. She doesn't get paid enough. <laughs> I don't get paid at all. <laughs> You're freaking funny. Okay, well, we're going to get ready for bed. Uh -huh. Thanks for hanging out with us. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Peace.